Thank you, thank you, Lord, tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, everybody that's online. We welcome you tonight, all of you that are watching. Tonight is not a program that you will watch. But tonight is a time of prayer that you will join. A time of prayer that you will pray. A time of prayer that you will intercede. If you think you're going to sit back and watch tonight, then you better go and watch another channel. For tonight we mean business with the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I sense the power of God uh, so strong here yeah, this evening. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to welcome every one of you online today. There's so many of you already. But as I say, every time we go online, share the program. Before you do anything further, share the program. We're going to worship just a little more. And then we're going to open in prayer. Maggie's going to come and pray. And then we're going to continue to worship. I want you to change the atmosphere in your home as you worship God. The more you honor Him, the more you lift Him up, the atmosphere changes in your home. And the same atmosphere is going to be transferred all over this beautiful nation, South Africa. Let's worship a little longer. program every one of you share share the program invite somebody if you know people that love to pray intercessors phone them now tell them to come online or where two or three agree anything in the name of Jesus so shall it be we are called to be watchmen watchmen on the walls we are called to intercede stand in a gap and pull down the strongholds of enemy tonight making him of no effect we don't wrestle tonight against flesh but we're gonna come against every principality and power and ruler of this dark world in the name of Jesus Woo! thank you Lord
tonight Oh, open heaven tonight Oh, open heaven tonight Somebody say thank you, Lord Share a lebendo Oh, Lord Oh, Lord My God You know what's going to happen tonight? When you stand in agreement with what has been set to take place. When you start to pray an unselfish prayer. And you start to pray for people other than you. When you start to pray for your nation and people around you and not yourself. What's going to happen tonight and watch this word tonight. You're going to receive from that overflow. That overflow is going to come and you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed because you are praying an unselfish prayer. You're not praying, God bless me. You're not praying, God give me. You say, God, we stand in the gap. And we stand in the gap because you said you've given us the authority. Whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And every believer that's online tonight uh, is carrying uh, that measure of authority. It's a measure that is second to none. The enemy has no power over you. For you have all power and you have all authority. You're going to call those things. Uh, you're going to speak it. Uh, and you're going to see crooked parts uh, becoming straight. Uh, you're going to see mountains uh, becoming plain uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, somebody say thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Maggie, come up and just open in prayer. And as soon as Maggie says amen, I want you, all of you to bow in prayer. And I want you to agree as she prays. Later on tonight, we have a group of people that are here. And every one of them are going to come and they're going to pray. And they're going to intercede and they're going to speak the word. And as they pray in the spirit, I want you to pray in agreement. Don't murmur now. Don't complain now. Don't speak negative now. For woe be to you. You may just be judged by God. Be careful. But you need to flow with the spirit. And that's why I'm not afraid to say, if you're going to sit there and just watch, you might as well switch off. Switch off, go and watch the TV program. Tonight, we mean business with God. We're standing in the gap for South Africa. South Africa belongs to Jesus. South Africa belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. How about this, every one of you? I don't know if some of you know how to do this. I want you to put hashtag and the South African flag. Send that out. If you don't know how to find the South African flag, type South Africa. The flag will come up and post that. Come on, every one of you. Let me see. Let me see who's online. Let me see. Come, come. Oh, Come on, come on, come on. If you can't find the flag, then all you do is type hashtag South Africa. That's right. Thank you, Tanya Anamali. Thank you, Sally Punsami. Thank you, thank you, Kathy Subramani. Thank you, Priscilla Powell. South Africa belongs to Jesus. Thank you, Ronaldo and Robin Munsami. That's right. Thank you, Vino Mudley. Shabendran Mudley. Thank you, Jane Governor. Salva Governor. Cindy Governor. Thank you, Jerome Tamia. Thank you, Colleen Tamia. That's right, everybody. Hashtag South Africa. Marlene Crocker. Thank you, ma'am. Rochelle Naidu. Rani Naidu. Chantal Naidu. Craig Naidu. Kathy Smith. Thank you, everybody. Subhash Nipunia, Luke Reddy, Melanie Pele, Ethan Pele, Rishen Maestri, Suhavna Maestri, Portia Theophilus. Come on, David Chetty, Tracy Chetty. Come on, everybody. Hashtag South Africa. Thank you, Kalisha Harris. Thank you, Lorraine Julian. 
Thank you, Faith and Ivan Lazarus. Thank you, Diana Kiston, Ashley Kiston. Thank you, Cindy Governor. Thank you, Jesse Reddy. Thank you, Tunaivan Reddy. Thank you, Pete Rampasad. Thank you, Lillian Rampasad. Thank you, Priscilla Henry. Thank you, Dolly Albert. Thank you, Linda Mirage. Shanice Mirage. Marina Alexander. Colleen Ramia. Leon Ramia. There's a host of you on today. I sense the power of God is going to break forth. And righteousness is going to exalt this nation. Thank you, Neville Governor. Thank you, Lizzie Governor. Thank you, Rani Ganesh. Thank you, Celia Francis. Thank you, Trevor Francis. Thank you, Cole Naidu. Thank you, Jolene Naidu. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Nathan Naidu. Thank you, everybody. Clifton Chanda. Charlene Chanda. Joy Rubin. Manny Rubin. Emelina Pele. Thank you, Cameron Pele. Every one of you in the name of Jesus. Karina Muthi. Lorraine Perubal. That's right. Hashtag South Africa. Let me say this to you. When the anointing is the strong uh, and when you sense the power of God, you need to be hungry. Uh, at the level of your hunger, you will be filled. Uh, if you're not hungry, you won't be filled. Uh, but when you are hungry, you will be full. Thank you, thank you, Hannah Chetty, Alton Chetty, Lorna Rashid. Uh, Thank you, every one of you. Let's open in prayer tonight. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Our gracious and loving Father, we thank you, Lord. We can be found in your presence this evening. We thank you, Lord, for the blessed day that you have given us, Lord. As we stand in your presence, please forgive us for our known and unknown sins, Lord. Cover us with your divine protection. Cover us with your precious blood, Lord. We welcome your Holy Spirit to be in each and every home. Let your presence be felt in our homes, Lord. You are our Father, Lord. You are our protector. You are our deliverer. You are our comforter. You are our healer, Lord. We look to you, Lord. Lord, even as Pastor brings forth the word, Lord, we'll apply it in our daily lives, Lord. We welcome the Holy Spirit, Lord. You are our Father, Lord. We thank you for everything that you're going to do. Even the prayer request that's going to be brought unto you this evening. We, are, we look to you, Lord, for answered prayers, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you're going to do in our meeting this evening. We pray and ask all this in your precious name. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Come on, let's give the Lord a shout of praise. Every one of you that's online. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay standing in your homes. Just receive tonight. Receive. I sense the Holy Spirit so strong. And we're going to worship God today. You cannot do anything. You cannot go any further. You cannot set any platform unless you start it right. And tonight we're going to start it right. And before we go into a time of worship, I want to pray a prayer, a very special prayer. Every one of you that's online, raise uh, both your hands. Every one of you, raise your hands. Everyone, musicians here, yeah, everybody, everybody here yeah, that's in the church uh, that's going to be praying, raise both your hands. Father, today we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, tonight as we stand uh, as your children, we're about to pray for our nation. But God, we know that we can never pray unless we come before you and we stand with clean hands and a pure heart. And therefore today, oh God, we cry to you. We say, oh God, our Father, have mercy upon your children. Forgive, oh God, your children today. Oh God, forgive every one of your children, uh, every son and every daughter, every boy and every girl, uh, every one of God who's in known sin, uh, everyone who's in unknown sin, oh God. Uh, we say, forgive us, Lord. Oh, forgive us, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord, tonight. Make us pure. Sherelebe yakashate. For the devil is the accuser of the brethren. 
And tonight, oh God, we know that when we come before you in repentance, true repentance, oh God, you forgive us of our sins. You cleanse us. You make us whole. And when the devil looks at us, he does not see no. He sees the blood of Jesus. And the closer I draw to you, the closer you draw to me. And then the enemy flees from me. He does not flee because of me. He flees because of you in me. For greater are you that is in me. Oh, hallelujah. Greater, greater, greater are you that is in me, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Forgive, O oh God, and cleanse. As the atmosphere is already charged and ready for what you're going to do. Receive our worship today. Receive all that we're going to give you today. And oh God in advance we thank you for an open heaven. For our praise tonight uh, is not going to hit a brass ceiling and come down. No, no, no sir. Our praise are going to send into the heavenlies. Oh, yakashata, And it's going to change and affect the spirit realm. And it's going to cause things to take place over our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's worship the Lord today.
favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you Belongs to him. Oh, yes, 
sing, sing, sing. South Africa belongs to Africa belongs to Jesus, Africa, Africa belongs to Him, Africa belongs to Jesus, Africa belongs to Him, Whoa. Africa belongs to Him, Africa belongs to Jesus, Africa belongs to Him. Yes, yes, yes. I find my victory in you. Oh, forever, oh, forever we win. Oh, I oh, Hallelujah, Lord. Just hold it right there. Worship, worship. Isaiah chapter 11 says that a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse and from its roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him and the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and the spirit of might. The spirit of the knowledge and the spirit of the fear of God. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. And this is what the word says. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes. Or decide by what he hears with his ears. But listen to this verse 4 says. But with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. And with the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt. And faithfulness the sash around his waist. Oh, and he will raise a banner for the nations, says verse 12. And gather the exiles of Israel. And he will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarters of the earth. Ephraim's jealousy will vanish and Judah's enemies will be destroyed. Ephraim will not be jealous of Judah, nor Judah hostile towards Ephraim in the name of Jesus Christ. How good it is, Lord. How good it is, Lord. When brothers dwell together in unity. Behold how good and how pleasant it is. Behold how good and how pleasant it is. When brothers dwell together, Lord. From all walks of life. From all backgrounds. From all corners of the earth, Lord. Oh, yes, the Lord be praised tonight and let his enemies be scattered. The Lord be praised in our homes. 
homes, in our churches, in our towns, in our communities, in our province, in our nation, all over the world, the Lord be praised, and His enemies be scattered. Sing, sing, sing. Go, 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 go. The word of the Lord, the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord never changes. The word of the Lord will remain. The word of the Lord is the same yesterday. The word of the Lord is the same today. The word of the Lord is the same forever. The word of the Lord changes not. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now every one of you that are watching tonight online, I'm going to release a word today and I believe that this word is going to come alive in the life of this nation. I want you to hear tonight what I'm about to just speak because I was a few days ago and this only came by the power of the Holy Spirit. And listen and watch my words today. Every one of you that are watching online, every one of you that have grown accustomed to online service, Start to get ready For the Lord is calling us back And this is what I believe is going to happen very strongly That as soon as this pandemic ends As soon as everything is safe to go back And all the controversy is over the Lord is in full control. Remember that. God is in control. Not a government, but Jesus Christ is in control. He knows what's happening. Don't ever think he does not know or he's confused or he's sleeping for that matter. He neither slumbers nor sleeps. But I believe that as soon as this is over The answer 
does not lie in a man's wisdom or good idea. The answer does not lie in a man who gives and a man who wants to make a name for himself or an organization for that matter. The answer lies in the name of Jesus Christ. And I believe the church is going to rise. I believe the church is going to get stronger in all its democratic days that it's ever seen. Whether it was prior to 94 or post 94, you ain't seen this yet. For when the day comes when the church is fully opened, I believe this is going to take place all over South Africa. <laughs> and pastors, people from other churches, warn your pastors and get them ready. Enlarge your territory. Extend your borders and your boundaries. Loosen those pegs for God is going to shake them and he's going to extend your boundaries. And this is what's going to happen. I'm so at confident with this that South Africa is going to see the biggest home coming to church like it's ever seen in the history of this nation. And you're going to see people running to church. You better get ready for those of you who think you're going to get your front row seats. Think again. You're going to find other people running in and taking those seats. Things are going to change people that were in the front will be in the back. People in the back are going to be in the front. Those that were cold are going to become hot for the Lord. And there's going to be a new spirit that's going to fall upon this nation and in that hunger and as we come back into the buildings uh, and there's, it's going to be the greatest homecoming ever in that same wave uh, there's going to be a revival and through that revival we are going to see this, this nation uh, this nation uh, turn around uh, in the direction uh, that God wants it to go uh, and the church uh, is alive uh, and well uh, Everybody tonight, uh, I want you to hear this today. The church uh, is alive uh, and well. Uh, I want you to hear it again. Uh, the church uh, is alive uh, and well. Uh, I want you to hear it again. Uh, the church uh, is alive uh, and well. Uh, I want you to hear it again. Uh, the church uh, is alive uh, and well. Uh, the church uh, is not sleeping. Uh, the church uh, is not dead. Uh, the church uh, is alive uh, and well. Uh, and who is uh, the church? Uh, you are the church. Uh, arise! Uh, arise! Uh, arise! Uh, and get ready for the greatest uh, move uh, this nation has ever seen. in your homes every one of you stand start to pray in the spirit start to pray 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 in the spirit Korie ke rele bebe ya kaka karola baba shato korola baba ndoro lobo yerele be ya kata tata rala baba bayo yoro lobo ndori ya kaka kerie rele bebe ye sherele bebe be ya kato to korie rele bebe bebe ndara la baya to korie kashake kerele be I encourage every pastor today 
I encourage every church leader today, get ready for the greatest move of God in your church. Uh, the greatest homecoming you've ever seen is going to happen in our lifetime. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. How many vats do you have? How many vats have you prepared? To the measure of the vats that you will prepare, to that measure you're going to be filled. I break every contrary spirit today. I break every evil agenda today. And Lord, we thank you that you reign supreme. It is your will be done. It is your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And we thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. Are you ready to pray tonight, every one of you? Every one of you that's online, are you ready to pray? If you are ready, I want you to stand. You cannot be sitting at home. Under this anointing, you cannot be sitting at home. I want you to stand and just continue in interceding right now and praying in the Spirit. We have a few people that's going to come and pray. We have Pastor Bobby Perumal, Lazarus Soda, Julie Naidu, Gloria Naidu, Tishen Naidu, Madeleine Davidson, Sabina Chetty, Jeffrey Naidu. All of them are here today. They're ready and they're going to be praying. And when they come up, I don't want you to listen to them and see what they're saying and all of that. I want you to pray in agreement tonight. I want you to change that which you've been used to. For God is doing a, a brand new thing. Forget the old, forget the former. For God is doing a brand new thing. You see, South Africa belongs to a beautiful continent, Africa. Africa is saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Africa is saved in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be no contrary spirit. There will be no evil agenda over this continent. Neither will there be any evil agenda over this nation that will manifest and rule. But only righteousness will exalt this nation. And righteousness only because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Get ready right now. Get ready. Get ready right now. And I'm going to call Pastor Bobby Perumal. He's going to come and pray. And as he prays, he's going to pray against the spirit of racism. As he focuses on racism, I want you to pray in agreement. You have to agree as he prays. The Bible says where two or three agree anything in his name, so shall it be. Pastor Bobby is going to pray the word. As he prays the word, you need to agree. And we're going to see change take place in our nation. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Kura maraka mayende ira mayendo itara baye terebe ye toro bonda ra baye nde mara maya kama reko toro bonda ra baye terebe ye toro bondo rababo ndara bashe terebe ye toro bonda ra baye nde mara maya kato ira maye te itara baye toro bonda ra baye toro bondo ora ma. Shakam Matorobon Darabayende. We have come to honor you. We have come to glorify and magnify the matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rekamareto Iramande Itarabaye Terebe Torobon Daraba Shenderebe Dorobondo. We come again racism. We come again division. We come again. Hallelujah. The forces of darkness that are separating this nation. What are Mareto? Reka Mayekete Irama. We are one people. We are from the hell, the womb of evil. We are from the Adam and Eve. We are one big family of God. Karamareto Irama Yeterebendo. 
Mara Mashaka Maye, Terebeye Korobondo. We are a rainbow nation. We must live side by side with one another, respecting one another, in respect of their color. Shaka Mare Torobo, Reka Mayende, Itarabaye Torobon, Dorobo Shende Rebeye, Dorobondo. Oh, Kabra Maye Koto, we come against Lord, hallelujah, the territorial spirit. We come against, oh God, every other force that is separating and dividing this nation. We respect one another, not respect of their color. We love them because they are not from any other source. They are from Adam and Eve. My brother, my sister, Gota Marando, Reka Mashekete, Iramayen Dorobondo. We love you, Father. We love you. We love you. We want this nation of South Africa to come together as one nation. We know, Father, the things that are happening in Phoenix. We pray for Phoenix. We pray, oh God, peace over Phoenix. They will come to an agreement. They will come to a settlement. We want to see peace in Phoenix. Yes, Lord, we know on the 10th of this month, they are going to march into Phoenix. But, Father, we know you have everything under control. We will not be intimidated by the devil. We know great is he that is in that he that is in the world. Oh Father, we love you. We love you. We love you. I want to leave you with this tonight. Moses, who married an Ethiopian woman who was a black woman and he was the first deliverer that God sent him to, he, to Egypt but the last deliverer was Jesus Christ we know that Simon of Cyrene a black man had to carry the cross for Jesus God had a plan and a purpose that the far and the near must come together and the cross is a symbol of love i'm talking to every child of god the light must illuminate from you and and light up the whole country oh with your love hallelujah and with your warm embrace love your neighbor love your friend love your co-worker love everyone hallelujah very especially the blacks hallelujah and tonight he's not a black he's not a blue he's a human being he is created by god made in the image of god made in the likeliness of god father tonight we come to glorify you we come to magnify you we come to uplift your name for we know there is no other name but the name of jesus we thank you father for the symbol of the cross that has brought the near and the far together and made us one hallelujah thank you jesus for we humbly us in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah let's give the lord a shout of praise everyone Come on, give him a shout of praise in your home. You must understand something. That when the devil uses people to wreak havoc, like what we've seen in our nation, <laughs> they can wreak havoc for a day or two or whatever the case may be. But God has given us so much of authority and power that we can start to change and effect that change through his word and everything that is uh, that has been against the word of God against the knowledge of Christ uh, comes to the subjection uh, of Jesus Christ so what am I saying whatever they do is going to work together for our good for God is in control whatever they do is going to work together for our good uh, because God's going to be glorified in the end whatever they do is going to be made of no effect for God is going to be glorified in the end 
Now we're going to go on with prayer and I'm going to call Lazarus Soda. Lazarus is uh, one of the guys here on the team. He also works at the church. He has a strong passion for prayer. And I called him tonight to pray. And I wanted him to pray in the area of those people who need jobs. Many people are jobless. They are jobless even before this unrest happens. The unemployment rate was extremely high even before the unrest. Now with the unrest and the looting, it's made it even worse. But we're going to pray today and we're going to change and we're going to effect change in the atmosphere that people will be employed. Companies will be open. Companies will get busier than ever before. In fact, I feel very strongly the month of August is going to be a busy month in the name of Jesus. Every company, every business is going to be busier than you've ever been in this year in Jesus name to set you on a trajectory for God where God is taking you let us pray for jobs today Shalom, Shalom, Shalom Saints whoever you are watching us let us stand in agreement in prayer for the Bible said that when we pray he asks us Father we praise you we worship you Lord we lift up one name higher and higher for who you are Lord for you deserve all the glory and the honor and the presence. Father, right now, I pray to those people who have lost their jobs because of this pandemic, Lord. I declare, Father, a new open door to be open unto them. For, Lord, you are the you are the Holy One of Israel. For when you open the door, nobody can cross. Father, I prophesy to every door that was crossed, Father, to be open right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever who doesn't have job, Father, I pray, Father, that you may open job for them. For there is nothing that is too hard for you, Lord. For with you, Father, all things are possible. For you are Alpha and Omega. You are the first and the last. You are everything, Father. We believe in you, Lord, that somebody tonight is going to receive a miracle job in the name of Jesus Christ. We believe, Lord, that somebody tonight is going to receive the job which he lost in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. You are a never failing God. With you, Father, all things are possible. We put all our faith and all our hope in you, Father. For you are what it says from the book of Job. That there is a hope for a tree that is cut, that its shoot shall sprout again. Father, I prophesy hope to those people who lost hope, that they will get hope again, that they will be employed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you for being worthy to us, Father. The same way, Father, you spoke to Ezekiel, that prophesied to the dry bones to live again. And I prophesy to every door of joblessness that was dead, I prophesy to live again in the name of Jesus Christ. To everyone who was weak, I declare for the healing, I declare for the strength to get a job in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for all what you are doing. Lord, we believe that you are open new doors in their lives, Lord. We thank you, we worship, Lord, for you deserve all the glory and the honor and the praises. I ask for this, Father, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And now during this time of COVID, many people are sick. Many people are unwell in body. If you know people that are sick and are unwell, we do believe that the God is the healer divine. And today I'm going to call Julie Naidu. And she's going to pray for all those that are sick, whether it's COVID or any other illness. Let's stand in agreement right now as Julie will come and let us pray the word of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. We bless God tonight in the name of Jesus. Psalms 91 says, If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Lord God, God doesn't want only you for you to prosper. He wants you to be in good health. Hallelujah. God says he will never leave us nor forsake us. He says tonight as you sit at your home, wherever you are tonight, you may be sleeping on the, the, the hospital bed. You may be at home sick with COVID. Tonight, God says to you, you need to have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. God says in 1 Peter 2 24. Hallelujah. He personally carried our sins in his body on the cross so that 
we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By his wounds, you and I are healed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Tonight, we're going to pray. You just need to believe tonight. Men of God, woman of God, as you lie on that bed tonight, I am praying for those that have got COVID positive. Those that are COVID positive tonight, in the name of Jesus, I command, I command, I command COVID to dry up. To dry up in you, in Jesus' name. Father God, your word says, by your stripes, they are healed. Oh God, those that are in oxygen, those that are in ventilators, God, those that are isolating at home, in Jesus' name, I pray, healing over them, God. You are our healer, Jehovah Rapha. You are our healer, God. Touch, heal, set your children free. I thank you. God, I pray for South Africa. I pray in Jesus' name that you will heal your children by your stripes. They are healed, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Those, Lord, that have heart conditions, those, those, those that got arthritis, Lord, those that are high pressure, Lord, uh, diabetes, oh God, I pray in Jesus' name that you will touch God. Those that have problems with the lungs, oh God, heart disease, touch Lord and heal them. Heal them, God, set them free. In Jesus' mighty name, I give you praise, God. You will not fail, God. Oh, I thank you and I give you praise. In your right hand, there's pleasures forever, oh God. I thank you and I give you glory, praise, and honor tonight. For you are a good, good Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Amen. Hallelujah, everybody. Give the Lord a hand tonight. Give the Lord a hand tonight, everybody. Give the Lord a hand tonight. Yes, thank you, Pops Papi. We're praying for Pragasan and his whole family in Cape Town. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to call Gloria Naidu. There are many people during the season that has lost loved ones. People have passed away and the spirit of people are in mourning. People are just in a place where they are in mourning. And I'm going to call Gloria and she's going to pray today. We're going to agree today that God is going to bring healing and strength to everyone that has lost loved ones. Let's agree as Gloria prays. Come on everybody. We praise and worship you this evening, our God. We give you all the glory and honor. We enter your courts with praise and a heart full of thanksgiving. Lord, we want to give you adoration tonight, Lord. We want to magnify your holy name, your name that is above every other name. Lord, we thank you that at the sound of your name, Lord, we have the healing. We, the demons tremble at the sound of your name. And tonight, Father, we come in no other name but the name of Jesus tonight. Lord, we pray for those, Lord, that have lost loved ones during the unrest of God. Father, tonight we pray for those that are, have lost their loved ones through COVID, Lord. We ask, Father, tonight that Jehovah Shalom, your Prince of your peace will be upon them, O oh God. We pray tonight for your comforter, Lord, the Holy Spirit that will go into the that will touch them tonight, Father. Many, Lord Jesus, are feeling lonely. Many are going through so much of pain, O oh God. But you are the only one that can take away their pain. Oh God, I pray that you will surround them with your love. You will surround them with your spirit, O oh God. Father, tonight, Lord, we lay each and every one of them tonight at your feet. Father, we pray tonight, Lord, even right now. There's so many, Lord, that are going through uh, this uh, difficult moment, O oh God have lost their loved ones, Father. Tonight, Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will touch them, Lord. You will touch the families, O oh God. You will give them the strength tonight, Lord. They can only hold on to you, O oh God, and no one else tonight. I pray, O oh God, that you will bring calm and peace over them, Lord. I pray tonight, Jesus, that you will surround them with your love and that your Holy Spirit, the Comforter, will always be with them. Lord, in the quiet moments, when they feel that they are all alone, O oh God, let them cling on to you, O oh God. Lord, let them cling on to you, because only you can take away the pain. Because you said, Lord Jesus, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And tonight I pray, Lord, that even as I commit them into your hands, let 
your peace and your comfort and your strength be upon them in Jesus mighty name amen oh that is who you are you are the way maker let's worship we still got a few more people to pray so just stay right there but I want to worship the Lord right now that is who you are We're going to continue praying. We've got four more people that's going to come and pray. And the next one that's coming to pray is Tishen Naidu. And we're going to pray for the South African National Defense Force. You know, I seen a post the other day where they saw the, one of the soldiers struggling to get onto the trucks. And social media went crazy ridiculing the person. Let us repent today. Our job is not to make fun and laugh at them. But let us pray for them. If you cannot pray for them, then just rather keep quiet. They need our prayer. They need our help. You see, they cannot do it without the help of the Lord. And it is righteous people, righteous people that will speak righteous words into a righteous nation. And things will go according to to the plan of the living God Yahweh and you got to know that today be careful as children of God what you say against our government against all the people yes we know there's corruption yes we know they're messing up you doesn't need you don't need to have a, a PhD to figure that out but our job is to pray prayer changes things and we're going to see like in 1994 how God stepped in and He brought this nation to be one of the most uh, prized nations in the world where South Africa took center stage all over the world the day God saved South Africa. Let us pray today for the South African National Defense Force as Tisha Naidu will come and lead us in prayer every one of you let's agree in prayer hallelujah blessed are the peacekeepers for they shall be called the children of god matthew chapter 5 verse 9 dear heavenly father almighty god we come to you in the mighty name of jesus and we thank you father for this night lord Father, firstly, I thank you for the flow of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father, for confirmation of your word. And I pray, Lord, that even as we stand here tonight, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you please forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for the negative, the criticism, Lord, and everything that we've done against your will, Father. We ask, Lord, that you give us clean hands and a pure heart, Father. We pray, Father, for the entire nation that has criticized us the National Defense Force, we ask that you forgive them. We stand in the gap here tonight, Father, asking you to forgive us, Lord. And we pray, Father, that even as you forgive us, Lord, we pray for them, Lord. We bring them before you and we ask you, Lord, that you will protect them. You will keep them safe, Lord. You will be with them, Lord. Your pull of cloud by day and a pull of fire by night will surround them at all times, Father. No matter where they go, Lord, that you will give them a sound mind, Lord. You will give them strength, Father, by day strengthen them Lord and I pray Father for every commander in chief Lord that you will give him wisdom understanding and knowledge the same that you gave to David Father we thank you Lord that even as 
they will, they will go out into the enemy's territory for they will win because Lord you are on their side and we know Lord that we are on the winning side so Father we claim the victory right now in the mighty name of Jesus we even pray for their families Lord we pray that you will protect them you will keep them you will, put, you will cover them with your precious blood at all times Father and we know Lord that whatever we ask for in prayer if we are in agreement Lord you will bless it you will command your blessing Father so we thank you for this wonderful time Lord your mighty and precious name Amen Hallelujah Come on everybody give God some praise I'm going to call now Sabina Chetty Sabina is going to pray and you're going to pray for the police you're going to bring the police services the South African police services before God and everybody let's stand in agreement as Sabina will pray as we pray for the South African police service today Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Give the Lord a hand tonight. Uh, we've just got two more people to pray. And we're going to, you can sense, uh, we are pulling down uh, strongholds. Uh, we are pulling down strongholds. Uh, we are pulling down uh, strongholds. Uh, I'm going to call Jeffrey Naidu. And he's going to pray over the economy. Our economy needs a touch uh, from the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and as Jeffrey prays tonight uh, I want you to stand in agreement uh, and we're going to see a turn uh, around uh, and by December 2021 uh, the stores that have been looted and closed uh, are going to be reopened uh, and they're going to be prospering uh, they're going to be prospering uh, in Jesus name hallelujah amen hallelujah hallelujah there's such an awesome presence here tonight of the Almighty Spirit. And I pray right now in your homes, you feel the holy anointing as well. And the book of Psalms in 46, it says, God is my refuge and my strength and is my present help in times of trouble. And right now we know that God is not going to answer our prayer next week or next month. The Bible says he's a present help. And we believe that God is going to resurrect this economy tonight. Hallelujah. Even as you believe in your homes, raise your hands tonight. Remember, he's Jaira. He's enough for us tonight. He's Jaira. He's more than enough for us tonight. He's our provider. Won't you believe that tonight? Father, we come before you in that mighty name of Jesus. We want to thank you, Lord. Father God, we cannot trust the government to resurrect this economy, Lord. But we put our faith and trust in an almighty God. A God who cares. A God who understands. You know what your children are going through today, Lord. You know what the people in this country are going through right now. God, we pray that you'll intervene. Your Holy Ghost and fire will come down, Lord, and fill your children. Fill this country, Lord. Because your word says, unless the government is on your shoulders, 
you will not bless it tonight and we pray God that you'll intervene for us tonight as your children Lord you will come to Lord the breakthrough is eminent Lord we pray that his economy can turn around not by our government Lord but through your Holy Spirit that's right Lord we believe you tonight we believe in the Holy Ghost and fire to come Lord and charge your children tonight God we pray this country needs you Lord this children of this country need you Lord more than ever oh God we pray that you not be deaf to hear to your children's cry tonight or neither your hands short to reach out to us Lord we know God that this economy can only be resurrected but a resurrected God tonight and God we believe tonight father we believe in our hearts Lord that there's going to be a turnaround there's going to be a shifting Lord there's going to be a paradigm shift father in this economy tonight because we as your children, we believe you, Lord, that you can turn it around. What the enemy meant for evil, Lord, you turn it for good, my God. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you tonight. Have your hand upon this country, Lord. We know, Lord, there's a breakthrough in this economy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with much thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give the Lord a hand. Restoration in South Africa. Stand in agreement today. Now the last prayer we're going to pray tonight. We're going to pray for our government. Many of you tonight are burdened for our government. You are seeing the things take place. You're hearing, you're seeing all these different things, hearing many things. Let me say this, the government doesn't have the answer. You know that and I know that. Jesus is the answer. For when we submit to the Lord Jesus Christ, when we do what He says, then He will step in and He will bless this nation. You see, the Lord our God will never leave South Africa Remember that today. Take fear. Stamp its head. For fear will cause you to do foolish things. God is still in control over this nation. Madeleine Davidson is going to come and pray. As she prays, I want you to stand in agreement. As we pray for our government. From President Cyril Ramaphosa down to everyone. Whether they're corrupt or not corrupt. Let's pray the righteousness of God into our government and we will see a shift take place in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father God, and thank you. Yes, Lord, it's been said and we're in agreement with it. We cannot do this on our own, Father God. It's not up to us, Holy Father God. We're leaning on, trusting in, and relying on you, mighty, powerful God, for a righteousness to come into this nation, Father, like we have never seen before. And as we pray for our country, Father God, for the righteousness in the government, we pray likewise, Holy Father God, for righteousness to come into your church, Father God. Let the church arise and let us be a powerful, powerful, voice for you Father God Lord God Almighty we praise you and we worship you and Lord as we pray for the government to be righteous first of all Holy Father God I want to pray for every demonic force every criminal force that is in a government at this moment God every powerful um, um, corruption Father God I'm asking for you to do a powerful work Holy Father God and I remind you of your word Father for your word says Lord God that you laugh at the wicked for you see that their own day of defeat is coming and we're in agreement with that word Father God you say Father God that their own iniquity will be their destruction and we are in absolute Absolute agreement with that word Father God we praise you and we thank you for that Father Lord God your word says that you are against those who practice evil to oppose them to frustrate and defeat them and
And we speak defeat. We speak defeat to every form of corruption in this land. We speak the defeat of the almighty, powerful God. And we thank you for that, Father God. We praise you, worship you, and honor you. And we thank you for it, Father God. And I pray, Father God, right now, that you would do for South Africa as you did, holy God, for the house of Israel and the house of Judah, Father God. Lord God, that what you, would do, you did for them, you will do for us. Hallelujah. That you, Father, will pluck up, Hallelujah. you will break down, you will overthrow, destroy Hallelujah. and afflict, Father God. Then, Lord God, you will watch over us. South Africa, Father God, to build, to plant, says the Lord. Yes, Father, as you said to Jeremiah, root out, pull down, destroy, overcome so that you can plant and build. And mighty, powerful God, we thank you that your word will never, ever return to you void. This word will always accomplish everything, Father, that you've sent it to accomplish. And we're asking for complete and absolute and total destruction of evil in our government so that we can walk into righteousness for father god we're praying for righteousness right now to take over and holy god as we pray for that i ask that you would dispatch myriads of angels father god with their flaming swords lord god and let your angels do a powerful warfare on our behalf for we can't fight it on our own father we're not equipped to fight it on our own but you the almighty god you will do it as you did father god in egypt you will do for us as you did for hezekiah father god i'm asking that you do for us and that was my Miraculous, one angel, only one angel, holy God, you used to pull down 185,000. Thank you for that, Father. And we're asking for many angels with their flaming swords to stand against the wickedness of the enemy, to actually, Lord God, to, to cause them to be impotent in the name of Jesus. Every plan, every purpose that they have fought against us that is... <laughs> waiting to take place on the 10th. No, we say it will not and Hallelujah. cannot because the almighty God Hallelujah. will dispense his angelic force that will fight for the righteous of this land, Father. And I thank you for your, that. It is your purpose, Father, that South Africa rise up in righteousness. For you have put your stamp on this nation, mighty God. Long ago, long ago, there were testimonies, there were prophecies that a light and a flame would ignite in the southernmost part of South Africa. And it would go right the way up. Africa, Lord God, that we would be a light to the nations. I thank you for that, Father God. That's your word, Father. I praise you, I worship you, and I honor you, Father. I thank you that we can trust you. We rely on you. We lean on you to do a powerful work and a fulfilling work, a work that will last, Father, that the world will see that we serve a God who is above every other God. Let this, Lord God, be such an, a, a, a testimony to yourself. And there are so many in our country, Father, that, Lord, believe in witchcraft. They believe in Shemba. They believe in other gods. Let them see your working, Holy Father God. Let them see your mighty, powerful move of your spirit that they would have to acknowledge there is a God who is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, the almighty El Shaddai who is above every other God and let their hearts tremble within them, Father God. And may many, many come to know you as a result of that. And I honor you, I praise you, I worship you and I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody, let's give the Lord a hand tonight. Let's give the Lord a hand tonight. Hallelujah. Now I want you to say thank you, everybody. 
Say thank you, Lord, every one of you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. you sing Lord we honor you come on everybody Lord we honor you Lord we honor you Lord we you sing Lord we thank you say Lord we thank you come on everybody use this time to thank him thank him for our beautiful nation South Africa for South Africa is saved thank God for our government a righteous government thank God in advance for our police force, a righteous police force. Thank God for our defense force, a righteous defense force. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60 verse 2 to 3 says, See darkness covers the earth and thick darkness is over the people. But the Lord rises upon you and His glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of of your dawn and today we speak that word over our nation father we thank you for every prayer that has ascended everyone that is online that has joined us in agreement and stood in prayer we thank you for an open heaven thank you lord that we are going to see tangible changes manifesting in our nation in the days, in the weeks, uh, in the months to come, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and a uh, God, South Africa will stand up, will stand up, will stand up uh, as a righteous nation. A na nation that fears the Lord. A nation that honors God. Uh, a nation that submits to God. 
and we will see the blessing, the favor, the purpose unfold for our beautiful land. We ask this today in Jesus' name. And everybody tonight said amen. 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 Were you blessed tonight? Were you blessed tonight, everybody online? Were you blessed tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Well, I want to say something tonight. Two years ago, we were getting ready to open the family church. Let me say something. I was very, very excited that night before. It was two years ago, exactly to the date. Because tomorrow, the 4th of August, the family church is two years old. Now let me say this. Some people said many things. Some people said foolish things. Some people said things they did not mean. Some people even said things they meant. But when God orders something, when God purposes something, no man, no spirit, no devil can bring that to no effect. And I ministered last Sunday on dreams. And I want to remind you tonight. Don't let what happened in this nation break your dream. Don't let what happened in this nation discourage you. Your dream will come to pass as you stand in faith and God will bring it to pass. You see, because your dream is not about you. Your dream is about Him. The dream maker. Because He has to be glorified. So tomorrow, it's happy birthday. If I had the time today, we would have had the cake today. And we would have said, happy birthday to you. But I'm not singing that today. Because tomorrow we'll have some fun. We don't know how. We can't tell you. Because we can't have big parties. But we're having. We will celebrate tomorrow. Our second birthday. But let me make this announcement to you. And give you a heads up. Tomorrow you will receive news. You will receive footage. You will receive uh, advertising. Or something that is taking place on Sunday. This is a dream come true for Portia and I. It is something we wanted to do for several years to serve the people and serve the community. On Sunday, that will be taking place. It will be being opened for the first time to the glory of God. When you see that, when you go that, you read it there, you see it says clearly, to God be the glory. So I'm not going to say anything more. Tomorrow you'll see online, you will see on the social media what's it all about. And we want you to be part of that on Sunday. Follow what God is doing. For God is doing a super natural thing. I want every one of you tonight, I want you just to say hashtag thank you. Thank you to all those that have prayed tonight. You Let me tell you something. To come up here and to pray in front of so many of you that's online. My goodness, if I tell them how many of them were online, some of them might run home. But I know when I first used to pray many years ago and I was taught how to pray with Pastor Clive and he brought me and he taught me how to pray. I can tell you I was very shy. I was very intimidated. I did not know what to say. I used to come and put papers there and read the papers and shake and even make mistakes and go back and sit and regret oh I should have done it this way or that way I don't know who this is for tonight but get ready for God is going to use you God is going to take the foolish to confound the wise those that think they're wise angas foolish get ready in the eyes of man you foolish but not in the eyes of God. Get ready. For God is going to use you. When homecoming takes place in the body of Christ in South Africa. Come on. Let's give God a shout of praise. Worship the Lord. Close in prayer. 
and then you can sign off anytime you please. Worship the Lord a little. Hayden will close in prayer and then you can switch off. Hallelujah, Lord. Father God, we come before you, hearts full of thanksgiving, Jesus. We thank you, God, for such an awesome time in your presence, God, where we can worship you, where we can talk to you, Father, where we can share our hearts' desires, where we can make our request known to you, Father. God, we know, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you will answer our prayers, Father. God, for you made a way for Daniel in the lion's den, Lord Jesus. We know, God, that you will make a way for us, God. Bless us, Father, even as we continue with our week, Lord Jesus. We pray, God, for your hands of protection over our lives, God. In precious name we pray. Amen. Amen.